What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hot Spec Tuna World here. And today we're going to be talking about excess crank pressure, PCV systems, and kind of how to prevent excess crank pressure on a boosted application, specifically today on the 1987 Buick Grand National we have here at Tuna World. It's going to be for sale, by the way. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about the problems we're having, a common issue I do see on such your older vehicles, and how to correct it. So as you can see over here, I actually have a PCV off the car currently. This is a new PCB, and we tested a few of them. And the issue that this car was kind of having, it wasn't too crazy, uh, was just under boost. You know, this car is tuned now. It's got a uh, turbo tweak chip on it, so I think the PSI went from like 12 or 13 to 15 or 17. So we're running this factory turbo, but a little bit more excess PSI. Uh, it was just building excess crank pressure and pissing out the rear main seal. Now, the rear main seal was bad on the vehicle, and we did replace it. You know, so obviously that issue is fixed. But in general, right, the stock PCB systems, you guys see it was built and designed in the 80s. So what we're gonna do to combat it is we are gonna add a secondary check valve before the PCB valve. And I'll kind of explain why we're gonna do that and how that's gonna benefit. Because you know we've had a few other people have that confirmed fixed on their car. So this check valve, essentially what a check valve does is, and what a PCV valve does too, is during vacuum, this PCV valve is gonna kind of float open and I'm gonna kind of blow into it. So you can hear it? Uh, it stays open so fresh air kind of flows through the crankcase. So you have your breathers on the valve cover itself. You have your this being open and allowing a flow of air through the crankcase, letting vapors recycle back into the manifold and get burned off rather than staying in the crankcase and kind of polluting your oil. But during boost, what's essentially supposed to happen with these is, I'm gonna blow out of it now is, it's gonna shut, right? Because we don't want obviously the boost from the intake manifold and the turbo going back to the crankcase and over pressurizing it because what happens then is you start having oil pissing out of your valve covers or your seals, front main seal, rear main seal, oil pan, etc. So uh, these factory PCV valves, they are a hit or a miss. They say the factory ones are good. I tried four or five different ones and I actually tested it under my shop air at like 30 PSI and it doesn't seal all the way. I hear it seeping out, right? And even just a little bit of excess boost pressure going into your crankcase, isn't gonna be good, right? You want this to be completely shut off. You wanna make sure you have proper ventilation in your crankcase. And in this case, we do because we have aftermarket uh, GM1 valve covers in there with two nice breathers. They flow really well. So we got nice proper ventilation up there. You could always add a catch can, right? To help with that as well. Uh, so, you know, when, if there's any excess oil going in it, there's not just spring over your engine bay. It's kind of getting caught in that catch can with the baffle. Uh, who is it? God, what's that guy's name with the American Eagles and Cletus. Cletus Garrett Mitchell, Cletus McFarland. He's got a cool video on like, he had to put oil in the line and put a bunch of shop air through it and show you how a catch can catches it. But anyways, what we're doing now is adding this uh, check valve. And what the check valve is gonna do is essentially kind of what the PCV does, right? Except for, it's just gonna help make sure that boost does not go into the crankcase. So this PCV, we're not relying just on the PCV valve, which in this scenario, like I said, I tested a bunch of them and it's kind of letting boost creep in that crankcase. So same concept, right? I'm gonna blow into it. Oh, I'm gonna suck air out of it. It allows still vacuum to go through, but as soon as I blow into it, boost, it completely shuts off. So my goal here is I'm gonna kind of cut this PCV line and I have a nice uh, reinforced silicone hose that came with my silicone kit on this. Just gonna put it right here and this is gonna help the PCV valve just shut and make sure no boost creeps past here. So I wanted to show you a little hack, how we're gonna kind of do it, why we're doing it. Let's come to the car now so you can kind of see the setup here. So this is your PCV line right over here. Goes to this hose, the hose goes down, the PCV valve connects to the intake manifold grommet right over there. I wish I had my light on me, I do not. So sorry, you're gonna work with what I have. And as I mentioned, right, that intake manifold, that bottom portion of it is kind of your crankcase, right? That's kind of where your uh, uh, lift, uh, the push rods and everything sit. You don't want any excess crankcase pressure in there. I have the breathers here. And what I'll do is I'll kind of demonstrate the breathers right now. Uh, take one out. 
So some of them have foam right here. Then they have a secondary foam over here. I kind of open this up, put this back on the mount here and show you. Oh God, this is tight. Ah. All right, we're not doing that, but nonetheless, let me blow into it. And you can see it's just like really good flow. So what's nice about this breather, like I said, the foam is there. So if there was any excess oil splashing up, this foam's gonna catch it and allow it to not go out uh, onto your engine bay. So really nice breather design. Again, it's on both valve covers. So I'm really happy with how the engine's gonna breathe now without a catch can. I mean, again, I'm on a stock turbo. Don't really feel like I need it. So anyways, wanted to show you that little trick to make sure you have no excess crankcase pressure during boost so you don't start pushing out oil through those seals uh, so obviously i haven't personally tested it but the theory is there and the reason i'm doing it is the concept is so well the check valve is so nice it's just going to help that pcv so you don't have to rely just on the factory pcv system which like i said did fail with uh higher pressures from our shop there so i want to show you the little hack uh these check valves i'll put a link to them i bought two of them off amazon for like i don't know like 10 15 bucks very simple but very effective uh i would highly recommend them on you know older boosted applications on the pcv system to kind of help that you know factory pcv valve uh from you know leaking boost into your crankcase so you know hope that video helps you want to show you it essentially all i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut right over here with a blade put the valve in and just put everything back in and take your first spin so again hope this video helps you I uh, wanted to just kind of tell you the concept and the issues that you know you may have I see a lot of people have uh, and again right a few people put these on and they're kind of during boost they were leaking a little bit of oil off their seals and this actually prevented that uh, this actually fixed that problem so they put this without even replacing anything and they stopped pissing out oil Obviously, like I said, my rear main seal was pretty shot on this thing, so we just went ahead and replaced it. I do have a quick overview video. I didn't do a full DIY just because we have to, for time-wise, I didn't have enough time to record that. But I did kind of have a, you know, during the process. It was a fairly straightforward job, right? Uh, so I highly recommend if you need to do a rear main seal, uh, as long as your car is pretty clean. You don't have to have, worry about too much. I would say that's probably like a five, six-hour job, start to finish if you're just grinding out. Uh, you know, having two people will definitely help with that, so... Want to make that video. Hope that helps you all. I'll put the link to this in the description below. Uh, boost on, guys. Like I said, this car is going to be for sale soon, so uh, keep an eye on it. Really clean build. Uh, let's see what time I'm at. I'm at 7.52. I'll talk about the car a little bit. Let me, let me advertise myself here in Tudor World, in Tudor World Auto Sales. So what we did on this car, essentially, we bought it. Uh, well, I guess we're just under consign it. When we found the car, uh, it was just not in running shape. It's a one-owner car. Uh, Mark, who is my friend stepfather awesome guy bought it brand new in 87 uh decided hey you know it's time for it to either run so i could sell it or whatever the case may be so we took the car under consignment a long long time ago started doing a slow build on it again it was just sitting in his garage for the past 10 years so he said take all the time we need uh we replaced a bunch of parts on it pretty much all the factory stuff that's very common to go bad this car had bad factory ignition control module donezo factory ignition coil pretty much donezo with it so we put a brand new ignition control module and ignition coil on the vehicle mef sensor the factory one is discontinued and not really reliable so we got rid of that put an lt1 maf brand new delphi one with the maf translator so that was a great great thing we installed got rid of the crappy factory intake pipe put this uh gn1 i think it was a colder one colder intake uh really nice install on that we still run the factory iat sensor down there it's in the intake uh and yeah what else did we do oh uh race tronic stage two fuel pump because the fuel pump was bad factory one common issue we also ran a hot wire kit so that fuel pump will always have nice voltage going to it and that's pretty much it got the new valve covers on there again right so we don't have the factory breather going into the turbo to cause that you know oil to go through your intercooler we clean everything up put a turbo tweak chip in it and that's what we have now so stay tuned car will be up on bring a trailer soon and uh check out my other videos again thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace